Hey, this is Perry McDonald. Got a short tutorial today on uh, doing a photo finishing technique that uh, is in this picture you can see was applied to a lure. And so I'll just go through kind of a short sequence of steps to achieve this. First thing we're going to use is a product called Laser Trans Silk. And uh, you can get this online. It's a uh, it's a paper that has, uh, I believe it's a cellulose coating on the surface that will allow you to print with a laser printer. I think this specific type I have, you have to use a laser printer. And uh, it prints on top of the film and then you can transfer, transfer that to another surface, uh, which I'll show you how to do. I usually buy these in 11 by 17s and cut them in half. It's cheaper that way. So this is a printout on a piece of paper, a laser tran paper. And uh, I'll share one trick. The one way we get the markings to line up is we wrap the swim bait with foil and then draw the lines on the piece of foil and then unwrap the foil and scan it. And then use a photo editing program to move the features around so that they line up when you, when you wrap the two-dimensional uh, transfer across three-dimensional bait. Make sure you print on the right side of the laser tran, otherwise you will ruin it. Uh, just cut out a little, about, leave it about an eighth of an inch around the shape I'm going to transfer. Here's a piece of aluminum foil tape. You can get this at most hardware stores. Uh, not all thicknesses are the same, so keep that in mind. I try to find the thinnest I can find so when I wrap it the wrinkles can be smashed out and uh, you should just clean the surface with some acetone and you can see there's a little bit of black residue. Uh, I found this reduces the amount of problems you have uh, if, as opposed to not cleaning it. You're going to need a type of photo mount. In this case this is a 3M call, product called spray mount. There's also one that's called photo mount. Uh, I, this one uh, does a little bit better in my opinion. You can get this at most hobby or craft stores. You're going to use your spray mount and spray the printed surface. I usually do uh, kind of a medium light coating and I let it sit for about 20 seconds and then you press that sprayed side down onto the foil so what you're looking at here is, is the back end of the, of the piece of paper and the front end of it is, is glued to the foil. And uh, there, this is really important how you do this, the timing and how much you spray. If you spray too much or too little, you'll get a bad transfer. Or if you wait too long or if you put it on too quick, you can also get a bad transfer. So this, you may have to experiment. It took me a while to get it so that uh, in the next steps you don't have any problems. Before you wash it, and uh, which is what you're seeing here, you actually have to let it sit for several days depending on the temperature. Uh, I usually try to do like a week or so and uh, that will help the adhesive uh, stick. So after that's done, and then you put it under warm water in the faucet and uh, you'll see the, the paper turn a kind of a translucent color. And uh, you can look out for any white spots, which indicates that it hasn't soaked through the paper yet. And here you can see one of those white spots I was talking about uh, towards the tail. There's a little piece of paper that didn't get soaked all the way through, and whatever the reason. And uh, what you'll see is when you go to peel off the paper backing, that piece, that white spot, will pull off the image with it. So. Uh, those are really annoying, and there are some ways to reduce them, but it's you have to do some experimenting so that you don't have that happen. So here I'm peel, peeling off the paper backing, and uh, you kind of I kind of found it best to go at a slow but steady pace, and you can see that spot where on the tail where the image lifted off. Uh, but uh, I can, I, you can fix that later if it happens to you. There's also a lot of bubbles that you'll see around the 
uh, on the foil still, which is from the the cellulose stuff that's there. And so I usually just pat that down with a damp paper towel to get the bubbles popped. Otherwise, if you don't do that, they can be there permanently. After I pull the paper off, then I, I usually hit it with a hair dryer to dry it out. Um, it's better to do that than to let it sit. If you let it dry, air dry naturally, it can crack and you don't want that. After you, you dry it off, then I usually spray it with a little bit of a clear coat. Uh, you can just any regular clear coat, just a thin layer. I found that it helps uh, when you when you go to do the tra when you're wrapping the foil around your bait uh, that you have a much less likely chance of of damaging the photo surface by spraying it with this clear coat. And uh, I usually hit that with a hair dryer too, just to make sure that it's fully dried. Uh, so, anyways, thanks for listening and. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any problems with what when you're trying to do this yourself.